hello i thought i would do an updated room tour because i watched my old one before and the decor hasn't so much changed but the general layout of my room has very much changed and it looks cute so right so this is the door so you would open it like this and the door would be here and you'd walk in and shut the door behind you like that <laughs> you know how doors work um so you walk in this I think this part is all the same, probably a few more sunglasses on here, but I think from my last room tour all that's the same. These boxes used to be, I think initially they were pink, then they were grey and then I painted them like this and I've kept them like this since. Got some little like, they're not real Polaroid pictures, they're like, do you know you can get your own photos turned into Polaroid looking pictures, that's what all the ones are in my bedroom. Um, some art of mine, picture of a cat from on holiday. We'll, we'll go up first and then we'll go down. So then we've got my same mushroom tapestry thing. Then here, the same cork board. Um, still got like things all there, uh, I added that. Um, that painting used to be here, but I like this one, so I wanted it lower down. Um, so I put that one up there because I'm not a fan of it. I've got my hooks here with my coat, tote bags, backpack, which is like my handbag. I prefer a backpack because they're just more effortless to carry. And my dressing gown. My wardrobe still has the like stickers on it. They slightly aren't stuck down. But they've never fallen off. My wardrobe door still doesn't actually shut. It just pops back open. I think there's something is wrong with it. I don't know what. We bring our attention down. We've got my, ooh, I nearly fell. My chair. Uh, I think the pillows are the same. Probably got a different blanket. And then this is a Joffley bear. Does anybody else have a Joffley bear? Or did you have a Joffley bear? They came with a backpack. And I don't know where the backpack is, but you like you take them on trips and write in like a diary of where they've been and look how wobbly his head is it's very soft though um so you just he just lives there okay next we've got my chest of drawers same chest of drawers if anything the only thing that has happened with the decor on here is that there's just a lot more a lot more candles um my favorite ones are thai lime and mango by this company I was, it was at york market i got it genuinely incredible my thing is i don't burn candles because i don't like this they give me a headache when like the smoke is in my room so i just come over and smell them <laughs> like i will stand here for ages just be like and then i'll put the lid back on that one and then i'll pick another one so i've got that one this one's surprising there like it's tobacco and nectar but it doesn't smell like drugs. <laughs> it doesn't smell like cigarettes or anything. It smells very like creamy and milky and really like honey, which I guess nectar, but yeah, tobacco and nectar by uh, the Yorkshire Candle Company. And my, I've got a few gingerbread ones. That one's strong, that's from Morrison's, I think. Um, this is my ultimate favourite, and probably will be forever. It's mint. It literally smells like a packet of Mentos. Specifically, I think the dark green packet. This is dark green or light blue, and I think it's the dark green one. Um, but I don't know what the company is. It says, Season's Greetings, Winter Mint, Scented Candle, Peace. A state of harmony between people. And then on the bottom it just says DW Home, I guess. But that's like one of my favourite candles. Um, other than that, I've got, this is from Morrison's, a little duck in a bath. Because why wouldn't you want a duck in a bath? How adorable. Uh, this is from a charity shop. Little koala. And my cat that I made. Well, I didn't make it, I painted it. My first cat that passed away so I just have her there that's also a picture of her in this frame here 
Um, I've got little bits and bobs, a Louis pin, a Harry pin, a cat like this. <laughs> Um, some shells and things, pebbles. This was from my aunt and uncle's wedding. One of them things. Um, some painting things that I've done. And then that's from it, say, this poster of the 1975 was... <laughs> Outside the 2019 Sheffield Arena concert, there was men in the car park selling them. This was one pound. And you know what? It's lasted since 2019. That's been on my wall since the 25th of January, 2019. I've never moved it. <laughs> um, I think that's done and then um, shot by champ. Now, this is where it starts to get more different because my bed is now here. Is it focused? Yes. So the decor is still the same. What was here before? Was my bed here? It can't have been. I'm sure my bed was over there. What did I have here? Was it a chair? Why can't I think what I had here? But anyway, now I've got my bed. Um, shelf is pretty much exactly the same, I think. There might be some new bits of like art up there. The pictures are the same. The other thing, I need to take that off. Um, shimmy the uh, the picture back up because it's like slid down in the frame. I don't really have the pillows on my bed anymore because that got irritating because I'd never used them. Because the thing is, I'm not like those people that like sit on their bed. I am in my bed while I'm asleep, but then I get up and I don't really touch my bed until I get go back to sleep. I don't just sit on my bed to chill. I sit at my either armchair or my desk chair. Beside my bed here in this corner, I have my laundry basket. And on the other side, I have, where is it there? My bedside table, which has my alarm clock, a photo, a lamp, the teddy bear that's on there. Can you see him there? He has my first cat, the one that I showed you the little model of. Um, her nail fell off before she passed away. And I found it after she passed away. So it was like embedded within a, a fluffy blanket that she'd be needing and I was like I'm keeping that and it's still in there I still check that it's in there even though why would it be not in there do you know what I mean and then in my bedside stand thing I've got some CDs at the bottom of my bed I've got all my stuffed animals and then my like caps and beanies I just like put on the the end there I've also got my Rafa Nadal lanyard and my camera bag I just put on there as well. In this corner of my window I've got this like bedside table thing as well and it's just got drawers in it that are very like they get stuck so I'm not even gonna bother. Books down the side here and then my 365 days of Sudoku that I just do as and when I feel like it. <laughs> Over on the other wall then so we've gone like around and now we're here. Um, these are still here the same I just have a bit more of like a gapage in this area because sometimes I pin like paper up to take pictures um, for my business. I think these are the same on this side, probably, maybe, maybe not. I've got a whiteboard on here now, here. Um, Ikea unit, this Ikea unit that I'm sat on that I'll show you in a second used to be in the spare bedroom and I moved it around so that I had it in here because I had a, a standing up one um, and I wanted one that was flat so I could use it as more like workspace so yeah so the IKEA unit we've got random DIY randomness um, packing stuff for my small business, clay stuff which honestly I need to put somewhere else because I don't really do clay stuff anymore. I used to do clay stuff within my small business but I've got eczema on my hands and it wasn't working well. Um, it was making it quite painful. Ink printing stuff which again I don't do as much but I still do sell some ink prints so I still have all that stuff in there. Um, this one is camera stuff, lights, tripod things, chargers, wires, all that kind of stuff. 
and this end one is art books I like a ready to go pencil case thing with colours in it um, and a, a dust sheet kind of thing to it's just an old blanket um, to lay down when I'm painting so that I don't get paint everywhere in the bottom ones we've got when I used to make jewellery things I've still got all my jewellery stuff and when I used to make resin I've got some resin stuff um, pretty much just that and some like packing bags in here is genuinely the most random drawer we've got like packing tissue thing a chopping board that I used to roll clay on an empty picture frame that is just the frame um, and probably some other random stuff that I couldn't identify and this one it's mainly paint pencils felt tips crayons that kind of stuff and then in the last one if you move my bin we've got more paints felt tip brush pens oil paint that kind of thing and a, a large water jug which is also helpful to have for catching spiders so obviously i've got like half of it empty for me to use as workspace and then the other half i have like some kind of like organizational stuff going on i've got this wire rack which was was from wilco's and i'm never going to be okay about wilco's not being a thing anymore um i should have bought more ideally like maybe two more but yeah so i've got my envelopes on the bottom and some of my prints on the top i have this is a phone stand i'll show you hold on it's a little elephant like that very cute who wouldn't want that um <laughs> one of those figure people so that you can draw figures a glass jar of scissors a glass not a glass jar a jar of highlighters and um rulers i forgot what rulers were called then that was odd i've got my remarkable on there and then these are all different kind of art things so i've got my old clay stock of coasters and things i did autumnal coasters one year um other coaster tester things they're for like packaging sending stuff and then just other random stuff my bookmarks um I've got printer paper for my printer, card, this drawer generally has my, what do you call it, it's notebooks in but currently they're on my desk because I've been using them a lot um, and I think that's it for this bit and the last bit is my desk so I've got my lamp still but I kind of took it backwards on itself unless I'm using it for something to keep it a bit more out of the way I've got my iPad, my computer, my phone my mouse pad my mouse behind my computer i've got a, pot, a jar of pencils a jar of my paintbrushes which can we just appreciate i've been taking such good care of these ones all my other um paintbrushes are like solid and these ones i've actually kept like cleaning them properly which is why they've got their own little pot and then a pot of pens um just some random stuff whiteboard stuff sketchbook, earphones, sellotape, other pair of earphones, all the dried up paintbrushes apart from this one, that one's soft, um, SD cards, pencil sharpeners, rubbers, what else? Oh, not SD cards, what are those ones called? Memory sticks? Is that what they're called? Um, my notebooks, water, and that's, that's pretty much it. Under my desk, I've got my desk easel, and yeah i also i have i have a desk easel that just kind of like flips up i have a real easel that i made into a desk easel or sitting easel i just halved the legs um so that it was shorter and then i've got a proper full-on stood up easel but i like took those away behind my chair and i think that's it i've got like so a calendar art by luke horton horton and i think that is it i don't know if you can see the lines going up my camera 
And I think that's just because of the lighting and I can't do anything about it. I'm very sorry if it's distracting you. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, turn post notification bells on so you get notified when I post. And I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.